Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Archvale, an action RPG bullet hell adventure game. Not a roguelike. An adventure game. Which is an important thing to mention because I really only just came to realize upon looking at this that there's a shockingly small amount of bullet hell games that actually are a full-fledged adventure RPG game. So this inherently is already kind of spicy. I'm excited to check it out. I love bullet hell games, but, uh, you know, maybe you want to interface with that system in a more longer term way. So let's check this out. Let's see if it does indeed hold up to that promise. And nowhere did it mention it was going to be a simple permadeath loop kind of a roguelike endeavor. So I'm excited to see what's going on here. Let's just go with normal. Child of Archvale, the paradise beyond. Awaken. Seven great stones lie dormant, sealed in the depths of this kingdom. When united, they shall restore a forgotten bridge between worlds. Go forth, awakened child. The arch wakes. I always want to say arc, but it's very clearly got a lot of archway imagery in this game, so that leads me to believe. Oh my god, is this bullet hell Legend of Zelda? What if Legend of Zelda was a bullet hell? Is that really what's going on? I'm really getting that vibes from the upper left there. And our kind of inventory system. Gorgeous pixel art, by the way. Can't do anything over there. We're going to need, uh, I would say, a sword. Oh, we do have a dodge roll. Hello. Wouldn't... Wait, we do actually start with the blade, though. However, it's very clearly just a gun. It's dangerous... It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Not so subtle. Not so subtle uh, nod. Left click to attack with our weapon. Gotcha. Is it too is it too early to say this game slaps? I think it is. But uh, I'm already very, very interested in this uh, this simple premise here. We got okay, we got a little bit of slime. Cool. Well, yeah, why is this a hot why is this a hot genre combo? Why is this not done all the time? I'm just realizing this. This feels nice. Okay. Alright. Keep going. What do we got here? Tap to Yeah, tap to form a dash. Cool. Hello there. I mean. Yeah, we 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 know what's going on here. We know what's going on here. Boop. Boop. All right. Cool. We got iframes on our dodges. A very good thing. Dodge roll with iframes on the uh, on the dodge is, you know, it's already my preferred flavor of bullet hell. Let's just put it that way. It's like a lot of roguelikes and roguelites, uh, kind of especially like, you know, Binding of Isaac, uh, Edge of the Gungeon, they very clearly have been... Early, uh, early on inspired by, okay, by, uh, like, Legend of Zelda. But they intentionally chose to stray very far in, in certain elements. What do we do with this slime? Nothing. Uh, and a lot of the times those elements being, you know, uh, just make it a repeatable loop. Hold a, do we, do we need to heal? Why would I have, I mean, okay. All right, we got ourselves a flask. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, hello there, bright outside world. Hold on. Fountains restore your health and healing flasks. If you fall in battle, you will awaken at the last fountain that you used. Fair enough. Ba-da! Gotcha. Okay. So yeah, like the map the map is like one big dungeon right now. It's sort of looking like I'm excited to get any other kind of uh weaponry too to see what we got going on. So I think that big flash there is supposed to symbolize Okay. Symbolize the uh the fact that we did clear out the room. We probably could have thrown this at enemies too. It looks like it does some kind of AoE cleansing. Maybe like a bullet cleansing kind of a thing. Oh! 
we got going on here? Hello. Hey! Yeah, definitely. It does like, uh, like 120 damage, but in an AoE. Gotcha. So what is this about? Shell shard. Seems like there's some kind of maybe uh, RPG, like resource farming. Maybe there's some kind of crafting element. Okay, so that's okay. Up here, we have our dodge meter. We can dodge like really, really cleanly and quickly. I like that. Okay. It's a. It's like a very, very simplified, not finicky stamina meter for for our dodges. Very, yeah, just a nice, clean, simplified version of that system, of a stamina system. I like it. I, I, I like that better than a than an ambiguous bar, for sure. Definitely, definitely. Oh! Hello? Can we, uh, we can't break bullets with our sword, can we? No. We can't break bullets reflecting back. I mean, considering, uh, you know, we only got the sword, I feel like, if, I don't know what kind of... Are we going to get, like, uh, I can only imagine a bow and arrow or something would fit right in. I'm not so sure that the game is just going to, like, snap and then all of a sudden, uh, man gets a gun. But also, who freaking knows? It's Timberwell. Hello. Looking to craft yourself some equipment, eh? Keep your eye on the wild for, or in the wild for some shiny rocks. They're sparkling. Smack them about if you, and you'll get yourself some material. And at the anvil, you can craft weapons and armor with the resources you find. If you're planning on venturing beyond fair reach, you'll definitely want to make sure you're well equipped. Okay, so we can craft. Oh, baby. Okay. 50 rate 2.75. I'm kind of. You know what? Let's do it. Let's craft a snail rod. Let's just try it out. Does it have any kind of uh, ammo capacity or magic meter we need to watch out for? Doesn't appear so. It looks like... Okay. So we actually get to craft a... We crafted a new weapon. It has... It already does have a, a uniquely different effect to it. Okay. What do you got here? Oh, this is like our storage. Gotcha. We'll get a little heal in there. I will say, there is a lot of white flashing that I do wish was a little bit less bright, but this game is slapping so far. These sacred fountains are older than even myself. Beacons placed in the world by beings who protect this world. Placed by the beings who protect this world, the legends claim. Supposedly, those godlike beings sent many other gifts to our world. A comforting thought, is it not? Whoop! We got here. I mean, yeah, that's what I was. Okay, so it looks like it has. Yeah, it's got a range advantage on the blade. Thankfully, I was gonna say. I imagine that that sword, like you see this little the one the flash that ends right here at my cursor, that's got to be doing more damage. But I bet you the pinewood bow. That's there's no such thing. But it does shoot faster. It's probably. One would hope it's better at a range. I mean, I dig it. I dig it. So, yeah, we do 20. Close up, we do 30. Do we do 30? Oh, God. For some reason, I thought those were just like ravens. Do we do 30 and then 20? You know what I'm saying? Like, do we do damage with the melee blast? Oh, we can actually explore out a different way here. Damage with the melee radius and... Ooh, we got some ore. What the hell? This is so good. This is so good. This is just a demo, a, rem a reminder. This is just a demo. I will link it. Uh, it's it's going to be on Steam when it's out, I do imagine. But uh, right now, you, the demo is, I believe, on the Humble Store for free. I mean, it's free. But when it's out, when it's out, it's going to be on Steam, I imagine. Maybe Humble first. I don't freaking know. I think it's published by them. Ooh, let's go for it. Let's try out this set. Uh, this magic. Oh, we got different patterns. We got, already got some different patterns going on. Okay, so this does some kind of AoE. What's with the, um... What's with the magic there? Okay, well, this thing slaps. What are those stars? What are those stars? Onyx ring, defense plus four. I mean, we should. Cool deal. I mean, we'll get more of these. 
Is there something special here? It just looked like there was something sneaky sneaky there. All right, well, so we got a special Onyx ring by going up there. I wonder if that's always there, you know? I uh, Like an Onyx, and that's like the reason for going that path, potentially? I've already forgotten the button to heal because I have not really needed it. Just right click for. Right click is for nothing. So we can't leave the room. Yeah, we can't leave the room while we're fighting enemies. That's got the uh, the same thing there. I'm curious. What is right click for? Nothing? It's for dash then. That being said, I have kind of gotten used to it now. Alas. Alright. Let's switch back to this. It feels like we really should just be using this for now. For now. You've collected a Mega Plum. Great. It's a special material. Gotcha. Wait a minute. I think that the... I, you know what? I think that the devs were right. I think it actually kind of feels better on shift for this. Dang. All right. All right. All right. Very, everything is so clean. Huh, I want those stars. I don't know what they are, but I want them. I don't know what they are. I imagine they're magic. Like something to do with our weapon, but I don't know. Okay. Get, get, get. All right, so I wonder if we have more stuff that we can craft back at home, too. Activate. What do we got here? How many what now? Oh. <laughs> I should have known it was the exit crystal. I believe it did say exit. I just wanted to pick up shiny thing. Do we just have to... Oh, we have to survive. Easy enough. Let's go. Let's go. Easy stuff. It's going to get tougher? Yep. Oh, this is cool. I mean, I'm sure we're going to get something special out of it, right? Oh! Oh! Heck. Oh, we get to start back from here. Cool. I'm trying to I don't, I'm trying to speed run it and there's really no reason why I would need to because like the way they move around this is actually tougher than I thought it'd be the first the first phase was easy but then I was not anticipating it was gonna get harder like a fool obviously the closer we are to the center the easier it should be to dodge most of the time here so let's just uh, let's just be patient there's really no reason why we have to go fast are you gonna make me do three? You are. Okay. I wonder if this is harder on or on uh, normal mode versus easy mode too, or if it's just like a damage thing or something. Wrecked. Yeah, I was gonna say three feels like it's probably the whole shebang. You found a new badge, the Paladin's Light. Melee weapons deal fire damage when at full HP. Badges can be equipped using the badge tab of your inventory. You must use the a fountain before any effects from the badges are applied. Oh my god, it's the Paper Mario badge system! It's, it's also the uh, Hollow Knight then afterwards, uh, you know. But holy moly, dude! I mean, it's the Hollow Knight one. It obviously must have made it, right? Sure. Uh, I know that Paper Mario probably was not the first one to use that system either, but that's what I know it from. Which cert that certainly does predate Hollow Knight in my in my life. <laughs> also reality. But it's a it's a good system. I really like that as a strategic system for like getting stronger, but like over the time you unlock more options, so you do have to pick what you value the most. But there will certainly be Oh my god. There certainly I, I can only imagine will be um you know, ways to improve that stat. Like, the amount that you can hold. Is there anything in those ever? I don't think so. Bop, bop, bop. Okay. Wrecked, 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 wrecked. 
Yeah, the staff is actually just gnarly. I don't know if we need any of this stuff. Question mark. Oh, it looks like... Boss? Let's go. Let's go. This game is so freaking cool. Wait. It's just like a... It's a practical application of so many logical combos. Okay, with him jumping like that, I almost wonder if we might be better off. Yeah, I think we're better. Oh, no. Then we swap to the AoE when he's got his ads out. Hell yeah, dude. It's like, what if we took Legend of Zelda, but we actually gave it a, a little bit of a spicy combat system? You know what I'm saying? Like, not that the combat in Zelda is bad. It's just like, it's just like, it's always just there, you know? Do we have to pick between them? Max health has increased. Does not appear so. Heart Clover. Increased chance for enemies to drop hearts when low on health. Oh my god. Gang, this is... When you know, you know. This is like... This is cult classic material. Immediately. Immediately obvious that this is cult classic material right here. What do we got here? So this is our blessing received. Your defense has been increased by one. Is that for, like, reaching a, a new locale? We also probably got the uh, Paladin's Light active now. So our melee weapons deal fire damage at full health. So theoretically, this should. I don't think that the Snail Rod would theoretically count. Well, I'm not at full health anymore anyways. I was just trying to look for some kind of a visual effect to imply that we actually do have that. Let's do some trick shots for the fun of it. Boop, 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 boop. Still not entirely sure what the uh, the stars are for. Sapphire ring. Magic damage up. Let's go, baby! I also like that we have the heart system, but we do have like a defense stat that can uh, certainly, I'm sure, fluctuate. Wait. Ah. Oh, shoot. Trading all that defense for 4% damage. Who else but me, baby? Who else but me? We're going in. Go aggro. Can we teleport to... Uh, I wonder if we can teleport between shrines or not. Oh, that was... Yep, yeah, that was... That was a rough batch of enemies right at the entrance there. We're replenishing something. Like, there's some kind of, like, blue cleanse thing on us. Maybe there's going to be mana in the game in the future or something for magic weapons. Because this seems like far and away the best tool. And typically, like, blue celestial things like that are kind of, you know, very mana adjacent. Or maybe this is just better when we have more stars. I don't know. Is that 8 the amount of extra damage that we are doing? If so, I like when things are rep uh, visually represented like that. Okay. We're going back up. Let's do it. Fair reach. Hello. Hello, little traveler. Have you come to browse my extensive badge collection? Increased melee damage, magic damage, range damage. It's not that extensive. Got your eyes on my ray of trinkets and treasures. Little child, I doubt you could afford even the cheapest of my collection. Regardless, these are not for sale. I am a collector, you see. Now, child, if you happen to cross any treasures akin to mine, please do bring them to me. I pay a pretty penny, I'll have you know. No treasure, bothersome child. I have no interest in idle-minded conversation. Return when you have found something of value. Not from around here, are you? Means you're a traveler. I'm sure I need not tell you of the dangers beyond this town, but perhaps my wares may be of use on your journey up ahead. Tome of Flame. Ooh, I do want to. I do want to try it out. How much money do we have? Ooh. Magic damage up. Oh look, we actually do change. Hello there, little one. Mind if I take a peek at those elixirs you carry with you? 
Ah yes, a recipe I'm familiar with. I happen to know a few tricks of the trade to pump up the potency of such healing brews. Bring me some mega plums and I'll see what I can do. Aha, you brought me mega plums. Seems we have all the mega plums we need to take a start. So let me work my magic. Healing Brew Level 1. Two more to cook up a new brew. This game slaps! Okay, this town is huge. Hello. Darn bandits have overtaken the Amber Path once again. That autumnal glade was once a lovely spot for evening walks, but recently it has become rather hazardous. Okay. Oh, hello. You're new here, right? Are you planning on traveling beyond the town? Back in my youth, uh, visit I'd visit Dustcrag. We'd spend our time kicking bouncy cacti at those big old bisons. That always got him real mad. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Big number. I would like to go back and get the uh, the robe as well. Magic is feeling like the, uh, currently feeling like the glass cannon approach, which is awesome. What is this, a spear? I mean, I'll try it out. What's, what's special about it? Oh, it has armor penetration. Inflicts, okay, inflicts armor penetration or something as well. Like some kind of armor piercing stat, so... I don't know. We'll, we'll try it. We'll try out a little bit here. Let's hit with the sword. So we did like 16. Okay. Wait, are we doing like a million more? 20. T we're doing 20 instead of 16. That's substantial. Onyx ring, I can't imagine we want. Nah. I mean, if, we're, if we were uh, rocking melee, that would be the way. That would be the way indeed. I do, I'm do. i very curious about that magic tome. Because I can only imagine it's like a fully uh, different pattern of attack. Hell, it might be a shotgun. Like, <laughs> for all we know, it's a freaking shotgun. Let's do it. We literally can't even shoot here, not that we would want to. Oh god, doing this one, this is... This is my jam. I'm out of the bullet game uh, practice, though, for sure. Next, two. I'm assuming we have to do three. Again. Let's get it while they're over there. Are they going all the way around? They are going all the way around. So that gives us, uh, you know... We have a window when we want to go for it. It's when they're on the other side. Unless we can do, like, a sneaky, cheeky grab like that. I mean, maybe too soon to say, but this feels easier than the last one, if I'm going to be honest. So now there's still just two, but they're faster. Yeah, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be honest. Feels more manageable. The, uh, them going all the way around, it gives us more of a window. Yeah, it was actually easier. Interesting. Arrowbender, range projectiles now bend towards enemies? Okay, now that kind of... Wait. Does that include... I wouldn't call this a... Also, hello? Are we not going to talk about this? How do I get you... Okay. I mean, maybe this bends towards enemies. I would assume... No, though. Oh, I don't have it on. It's a badge. It's a badge. I don't have it on. That's right, that's right. I, I'm curious, because I was going to say, like, we're getting kind of, like, too strong too quickly, but we really do get a pick. It's like, oh my god, it's so, oh, I love it. It's so clever. It's so clever and simplistic at the same time. It feels like something that should have been, it feels like this game should have existed as, like, the, the formula for all of the brilliant ideas. It should have existed, like, five years ago. 
And it, like, I can't think of anything quite, quite like it right at the moment. It's just, it's so, so polished already for a demo. Apologies for the gushing. Apologies for the gushing. It just feels like I've been waiting for this. And I didn't know it. What do we got here? Is this like a special dungeon? Oh my god, let's go! If I could change one thing, it would be uh, to have a setting for the screen flashes. Alright, so now we got like our more typical Legend of Zelda dungeon going on here. Oh, you! Do we have our, um... Yeah, oops, god, shoot. For some reason, I didn't think there was going to be another wave. Has there been a, new, a second wave situation ever going so far? Got our key. What's stopping us from just going down here and doing this every time? I also want to try, um... Try that. Yeah, I would, I would, uh, a flashing lights setting, or just, like, turning it down in general. Yeah, it's not looking like that bends towards enemies. Yes, okay, so it is really just projectiles. I, I figured as much, but I figured I'd do my due diligence because I'm not using melee attacks right now anyways. Not that melee attacks are even, like, melee attacks in this game. But you know what I'm saying. Ooh. Copper treasures. That's just... It's just worth a lot. Sounds good to me. We've got enough money for that, uh, that robe back at town now if we want it. So now if we're, like, kind of worried about hitting enemies or we just want to finish them off, like, briefly. Hey! Oh, what a cool... Ah! Cool enemy design. Cool bullet pattern design there. God help me, I'm gushing. Uh, what's happening here? What is that about? What's this doing? Is it restoring my... It's restoring my dodges? Yeah, it's restoring my dodges. Is that implying I can do like a double... Nope. Oh, it's, just, it's literally just for quality of life. Oh my god. What a, what a novel concept. He's, man's got magic and we're missing a lot. There we go. Yeah, for tinier, tinier enemies that are like far away like this, we actually might be better off uh, hitting him with the old bow and arrow. Get out of my swoop. Don't you touch me. Okay, we're looking for some kind of a silver key. Um, I might be, uh, I might be liking the bow right now, yeah. We could go for, I, I betcha... Okay, so there's a little button over there. Lowering their armor with this... Oh, we missed. Well, we didn't miss, we just didn't, um... We didn't apply what we wanted to apply. Ah, uh, yeah, it's just like, why, why would I do that? Fight fire with fire, baby! Pick up the pot. Oi! Incredible. Incredible. I'm getting rich from this dungeon, man. Yeah, what a novel concept. It's just... Oh! Oh! Got a little bit of Celeste in here. Oh, TNT! TNT! What's TNT doing here? Okay, so melee weapons strike me as maybe pretty decent for AoE scenarios like this. Like, the fact that I actually do see really good value in every weapon right now, and I kind of want to build around all of them, is also really promising. Oh, shoot, we should save. I, oh, I should have saved some. A little bit of heal. Okay, did I waste my flask? I For some reason in my head, I was like, it only fills up one. Kind of key to begin. We have a boss key, but it looks like a boss key, and then two regular keys. 
I want to I wanna explore, though. I want to loot the dungeon because. Okay. Yeah, these are a little bit slower projectiles, so since they are not homing in on enemies or anything, we do have to... We have to lead the enemies pretty far ahead. Okay, so that's probably going to be some kind of, like, boss. Uh, let's wait a little bit here. Okay, they're all grouped up over there. He said. And then they choose to move. Okay. Can we hit him off the edge? I feel like we might be able to. Yeah, the homing is actually very nice. What do we got here? Bone Crusher Ring. Deal bonus damage to skeletons and attack speed up. I will do that for now. Yeah. More treasure. Feels like that might be a good ring to get now. And I'm and I said, I I'm enjoying this so much, I really do just want to explore every single room. Like, I want to make sure we get everything going here. Oh, 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 oh. Tight, 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 I'm assuming we do just do like a flat amount extra damage or a percentage extra damage to skeletons. Oh boy, I got myself. Can I pick this up? Nope. Huh, tight. Tight movement, tight movement. We're in there, baby. Whoop. Ooh, we got ourselves another uh, Mega Plum. One more and we can get ourselves a Flask upgrade. It's kind of like the equivalent of... I mean, there are heart pieces as well, but... It's, the, it's kind of like the same sort of excitement level as uh, as those. But it's for Estus Flask upgrades. You know? Like, some, you know, like an element you would find in, obviously, Dark Souls. But also... In a more direct, like, since we're comparing everything to the roguelites here, in a uh, very Dead Cells kind of a fashion, it really seems like this game is... It just really knows what elements are from typical, like, all of the roguelites that have come out in the past, like, five years. What was in those that was fun that could be applied to uh, a game in a more traditional adventure approach here? And, like, hey! Even, the, even these, like, trap room elements here. They're actually interesting. Oh, yay! They're actually interesting, and they're more fun than, like, any other trap room in a, in a roguelite I've played, because they're more intentional, you know? They're more intentional. Oh, my God. Yes! Huh. <laughs> I, lo I love this game. We got a freaking blessing of power. Your attack power has been increased by one. So that's just, is that just like a stat we have just like all the time? I'd assume so. Boss fight? Hello. A visitor? How curious. I had long believed the tales of these decrepit ruins had been lost to time, but somehow I am certain your arrival here is no mere accident. Those who came before you have been dead for many hundreds of years, a fate that you will uh, no doubt soon share. I admire your courage, little one. Forgive me. I shall destroy thee. I kind of want to get you with the uh, the spear at some point here. Okay, there we go. We've applied an armor downgrade, which I don't know how long that'll last. Yeah, not very long. Okay, go for the AoE with the slimes here. Okay. Ooh. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, my swamp. Oh. <laughs> These attack patterns are so cool. Okay. I'm assuming this does extra damage against them when their armor is broken. Uh, for the brief little bit of time that we have it. Okay, here we. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Just trying to 
group them all up there. Yeah, well, we have a free instance to uh, slap on that extra armor downgrade. I feel like, oh, new phase. Oh, I almost did a hitless. Why am I doing that now? Oh, you've you've sped up. You sped up. You gone spicy. Oh, oh, you don't. Oh my God, you've changed. You've changed. They actually. Yep, 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 yep. They're shooting out that. Uh, that beam now in the middle of that attack. There's three beams. Oh. Let's go. How fascinating. You're not of this world, are you, child? This changes things. We shall meet again. Let's go. Max health up. An additional healing flask. Let's go. I knew it. I knew it. Ooh, just enough to keep me wanting more. Thank you for playing the Archvale demo. You're free to continue exploring Cradlewood. Many more areas, dungeons, and bosses will await in the full game. Uh, let's continue playing for a little bit here just to dink around. Magic Bomb. Why did it tell me to end there? If it was gonna, there's like more cool stuff here. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, gotcha. So that's like one of the dungeons, and out of like seven. Oh my god. But yeah, apparently there's like still a little bit more here. I kind of I want to play around. I also want to magic bomb one of these fools. Does that do anything? It looked like that maybe should have done damage, but it did not. Like I want to know what else is over there on the uh, on the east side. Like there's clearly still a little bit more here, but I just This is um This is it, man. This is it. This is this is the thing. And I know that sounds general, and I know that doesn't make sense, but I know you also know what I mean. I know you know what I mean when I say this is it. I uh yeah. Again, like what what I was saying is it feels like this is the game that I've been waiting for that I didn't know I was waiting for. Bowman's hat, let's go. I'm a bow I'm a bow boy now. The the perk that gave us the um the curving shots just really, I really, really enjoyed. I thought that the bow and arrow was going to be the weapon that I didn't like as much out of the three when I was trying them. I thought it was going to be my less preferred one, but just the perks that it gave us were very interesting. You know, I just, I wanted to check it out. Oi, oi, oi. What is easy mode like? I guess I've played a lot of bullet hells, so I guess maybe... I don't know. Kind of want a hard mode, though. For the <laughs> when it comes out. That being said, I think I'd like to play on normal. It's just, it, w boomerang. Oh my god, wait. Is this a... This count as a ranged weapon? Just like a normal... Yep. Wait, so does it curve towards enemies? I can't tell if it's curving towards the enemies or not. It should. Right? Theoretically? We got another armor upgrade. Defense up. I can't tell if this is homing in. It doesn't feel like it is. Definitely would like it to. 
obviously. If I, I mean, I like that we at least do have the, uh, there's some kind of secret. Nah, I don't know. There might be a secret bombable wall in this dang demo, for all I'm aware. There really could be. But let's go explore the rest of the remaining stuff that we can here. And then let's head back to town and see what we can craft and just, like, see what all the options are back at home in the, uh, in the old demo here. And then we patiently cry until this game can finally be in my hands again. Devs? Devs? Please. Early, a little bit. Day early access for all retromation here? Day early access whenever it comes out? One hour, one, one hour, one, one hour, one day before, one day early, all retromation. Onyx ring, all right. Short, short of, short of another, another game with the, the retromation red hoodie. You just one day early, retromation, showcase the world. So yeah, I don't think we can teleport back. I wonder if there's going to be, like, waypoints in the game or not. Whoop. When it's done. Like, I, I theoretically, I don't think it would break the game that bad if you would put it on the, um, the healing shrines. Also, look how much stronger we've become. Wow. I really do actually feel a lot stronger. On top of the fact that the boomerang does just kind of slap. All right. Back to the craft thing. I want to I wanna see what is in the demo here. Ooh, hello. Do I see the glint of glory's treasure upon your person? Please show me. <laughs> ah, wonders. These shall make fine additions. I yearly await your return. So, yeah, we'll, we'll check out that as well. I don't know if there is another Mega Plum. You would think that we've... Yeah, you would think we've found everything. Where's the... Uh, wait, where's the blacksmith? Is the blacksmith all the way back there? I think he was. Well, we can get the badge stuff for now. These take two. I mean, honestly, we can just do this, though. Because, uh... With the boomerang, that just doesn't matter. It's not working anyways. I don't know how much we're increasing our range damage by, but I'll obviously need to... Pap into one of these bad boys. Nope. Wait, what? How do I change now? Oops, shoot. Or did it change back since I was back at home or something? It looks like it's active. It visually appears as though it is an active thing. Feels like we're doing a lot of damage. It really does. But yeah, like, so we, we cleanse those, sh we open those shrines up. And then we can't, we, ne we can never heal from them again. Like, can never, I guess that's the trade-off. Hmm. Interesting. No, but there's still this one here. Okay, well, now it's definitely on. My guess is eventually throughout the game you can get, you know, uh, nine. Uh, you know, hot take. That probably not a big guess. Oh, my God. Wait, what? Oh, damage 68. So the thing we have is already pretty good. Range 100. Iron bow, damage 50. I mean, it's just better than the bow, but the boomerang is just the best thing, right? It's a lot, sl I guess it's a lot slower. So this actually is probably better than the boomerang. Probably is. Short blade. Bleed. It has a bleed. It's much faster. Let's do it. Let's just try it out. How much can we destroy man now? That's pretty good. I don't know. The boomerang's... I, I really like the boomerang. Though. I feel like it might be better. 
This would obviously... This plus the, uh, the homing would be better, though. Where was the place I can buy equipment? I guess... Oh, no, it was that... Yeah, the lady uh, up there. It's okay. I, want, I did want to come down and craft some stuff, though. Is there something else I should look at? I guess I'm curious about it. Uh... Let's craft the, uh, the axe just to try it out, and then we'll also craft a short sword. Oops. That is small range. Okay, this feels fine. It's got to be ranged, right? Okay. Just making sure. Making sure. Clear our way up there with the throwing axe. Oh, it's piercing. Is it? Does it pierce through the... Does it only pierce... Maybe it only pierces through one. Because it didn't look like it was hitting all three. Maybe it is? Okay, well, it's I mean, it's really good. And I betcha, I betcha that does, um, that does home in. Up and up, up, up. All right. I forgot, I forgot to talk to you. I want to know. Helmet on. Good. Tome of flame on. Oh, it kind of like... You see that? It sort of like stays out there a little bit. Ooh! God, I have no idea what build I would want to go in the, in the main game. It feels kind of like the Dark Souls... Oh my god, they're homing! And they do damage over time? You see that? It like slowly... Sorry, I shouldn't have got hit by that. I was just watching that. Oh my god. This seems like it would have been amazing for the boss because it, it's, it's stacking up a dot. I bet you the prolonged damage of this over the course of an entire fight, the dot that it stacks is probably incredible. Oh, uh, I love this game. Okay, so the bomb does do damage. I, I figured it should. Ah! Game incredible. This game is incredible. I suppose since we are done with the stuff in the demo and then some that we should probably be done. But this is Archvale. Uh, let me take a little again there here. Release date. Planned release 2021? Are you for real? Huh? Okay. Incredible. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Uh, so yeah, plan plan release date 2021. Nothing here about the uh, about the price. Who developed this? That doesn't. They don't have another game developed on Steam. Published by Humble Games, who's you know they 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 really know what they're doing. You know with which games they pick. Oh my God, yeah. Just looking through the list, it's just absolute hits after hits here. So you know, like Ring of Pain, I Can Fail, Fate Tactics, One Step from Eden. You know. Forager, was it? Uh, just all kinds of great. They they know what they're doing. Unpacking into the pit. Holy moly! All right, uh, this game. I can't wait for it. I cannot wait for it. I am going to play it. I cannot wait to play it. This is. This is skyrocketed to the top. I I wow. This is a perfect fit for me in every single way. I really wish I knew what was going on with this goose. I wish we could do something with it. But hey, that is that. And that's going to do it for today. My name is Retromation. This has been Archvale or Arcvale, one of the two. There's a lot of arches, so I assume it's Archvale. I don't know, though. Uh, wow. Please wishlist this game. I will link it at the uh, in the description at the very top. I will link both the, uh, the wishlisting link on Steam and the way you can go and play the demo for yourself as well. Uh, on like the Humble Store or something like that. I'll link both of those right at the top of the description, but 
As mentioned, I will play this when it comes out. Absolutely, I cannot wait. My name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day. So, if you do not want to miss great gems like this, if you do not want things of this caliber to go under your radar again, subscribe every single day, baby. There is new games for you right here. I do the filtering so you don't have to. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Like, comment, all that. Bye.